General from West Virginia for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our, our Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you for holding this important hearing this afternoon on the financial health of uh, FHA. 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 As has been said, the ranking member and I wrote a letter to the chairman about the importance of having this hearing and appreciate uh, him accommodating our request. On November 6th of 2009, we received the annual independent actuarial review of the FHA's um, mortgage, mutual mortgage insurance fund, which we had been warned by the commissioner that it was to, going to fall below the congressionally mandated ratio of 2%. As we, as we know in this report, the report says that it's fallen well below that level and is now stands at 0.53%. As we are all aware, FHA has reemerged as a major, major market participant, insuring almost 30% of home purchases and 20% of refinances. FHA has a critical role to play in our housing market, and if it is going to maintain this level of participation, must work together to ensure that the program remains self-sustaining and returns to a solid financial footing. I'm encouraged by many of the steps that the Secretary, uh, uh, Secretary Donovan and Commissioner Stevens have taken so far to shore up FHA, uh, and, but there's more to be done. I think we could agree on that. I look forward to a vibrant discussion on whether or not FHA has the resources to upgrade technology and also compete for experienced personnel to streamline their operations and improve efficiencies. Secretary Donovan mentions in his testimony that FHA may be exploring raising premiums for new borrowers. In late 2007, FHA issued regulations to implement a risk-based pricing program, but Congress put a year-long moratorium on that, which essentially um, ran through October 31, 2009. One of my questions will be, does HUD intend to implement a risk-based pricing program once the moratorium is expired, which it has? And if the need to raise premiums on all borrowers is clear, why should we not have FHA price their premiums based on risk? I would also like to hear more from the Secretary on stories of FHA borrowers who are not able to make that first payment. I understand that's becoming a bit of a problem. It would be helpful to know the statistics on first payment default rates and I know that the Secretary is indicating that he will be seeking greater recourse with lenders and look forward to hearing more details on that. I want to welcome Secretary Donovan back to the committee today. The FHA program is an important component to the housing market. Congress and HUD need to do everything that is necessary to make sure this program is run in a manner that does not expose the taxpayer to yet another bailout. I look forward to hearing from you, and I want to thank again the Chairman for having this hearing. Thank you. Mr.